Well, hello and welcome to the February edition of our Executive Corner. I'm Brian Stager, Scout Executive for the Baltimore Area Council. It may be cold outside and I hope you're doing well with the weather, but we've got some really hot things getting ready to happen in scouting all across Central Maryland, and I've got just a few minutes to share some of those with you. Many of you know February 1 was the first day that girls could join the Boy Scout program in what we're now calling Scouts BSA. Scouts BSA is a part of the Boy Scouts of America, just like Cub Scouts BSA and Venturing BSA. And we had about 120 or so girls sign up and 14 troops already on that first weekend of February. So welcome aboard. We've got a little playbook that we've put together for our staff and several of our key volunteers that's going to help us to even promote this program more across Central Maryland. So uh, look for some exciting uh, new opportunities for girls to become a part of Scouts BSA and parts, part of the Boy Scouts of America program. February is Scout Anniversary Month. We celebrate the Scout Anniversary Week with a Scout Sunday and our units uh, all across the council celebrated in their own way with special rededication ceremonies and banquets, Pinewood Derby races and the like. February 8th is the actual anniversary day. We're celebrating the entire month. And one of the most exciting things that we're doing this month is our report to the state in Annapolis. It's Monday, President's Day, uh, February the 18th. If you'd like to know more about that, please call Harrison Brook here at the Council Service Center. We have about 275 slots for scouts to come and tour the State House and to uh, help us celebrate our annual report uh, to the state of Maryland. It's also the month for camp cards. and. Uh, I know they're here because I've already bought four. You can't just buy one. You may as well get a 20 out and buy four of them. As soon as you go to the grocery store, you've got uh, your $5 back times four is my $20. So happy to participate, to help support scouting, and to help send a, a young person to a summer camp experience. So uh, in March, we'll have the University of Scouting. It's a fun time for volunteers. We have about 500 or so every year come to Carroll Community College. This year, our special guest is the Deputy Scout Executive, Patrick Sterrett, who uh, is a wonderful presenter a wonderful speaker you're going to enjoy this so please make uh, plans to come and attend if you can March the 9th Carroll Community College University of Scouting and it's not just a fun time uh, for the adults we also have some fun activities coming up for our young people and one of them I'm just gonna put this plug in for the Normandy experience this is the 75th anniversary of D-Day we're sending a contingent of scouts and volunteers to actually go visit Omaha Beach to visit England and to visit Paris while they're there. There are two slots left, two uh, slots left for this group. So if you'd like to know more about that and participate and go to Normandy and experience the 75th anniversary of D-Day, please contact Manny Fonseca here at our Council Service Center. Our Eagle Mom brunch is uh, set again, the reception for Sunday, April the 28th. It'll be at Bow Brooks. That was well attended last year. To find out more about that, contact Carolyn Panzer. Also, uh, about that same time frame, our Volunteer Recognition Bank will celebrate Silver Beavers, our Torch of Gold recipients, and our Journey to Excellence uh, um, winners will all be done at that banquet. It, a lot of you know that we're in the midst of a capital campaign. We're, we're in a very silent phase right now, but it's hard to be silent about raising 10 or 11 million dollars. Uh, we're going to have the kickoff later this month and there'll be more information. We're going public the 1st of March and I want you to find out more about it. But I not only wore my scout uniform to promote camp cards today, I wore a jacket for the Order of the Arrow. Our Nentico Lodge has already pledged $50,000 towards our campaign. I wanted to say thanks to all our arrow men that are out there. What a wonderful contribution to a camp that I know we already do a ton of work to help us to maintain and protect that property and to help promote summer camping experience. So thank you to all the, the arrow men and women who are involved in the Nentico Lodge. What a generous uh, investment that you've made to help us renovate our camp. Thank you very much. Um, speaking of wonderful opportunities, Wood Badge is always a wonderful opportunity, but the 100th anniversary of Wood Badge is this year. We've set up a special banquet. It's Saturday, September the 14th at Martin's West. Uh, there is an early bird special and a chance to get a, a special council shoulder uh, patch, a CSP, but you got to let somebody know by June the 14th. Uh, as always, I like to point out our Council Scout Shops. We have three of them across Central Maryland. They do a wonderful job of providing the uniforms, the literature, the materials that we need to promote scouting. I want to thank those people for what they do. They're a great extension for what we are here, face of scouting and to many people because that's who you see when you go to buy your first uniform. Plenty of other things happening. You'll have to wait till March. I've run out of time, but I look forward to seeing you next month. Until then, good scouting.